Hello, beloved. You are the most, 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 most powerful being. Do you believe this? Today we will make that jump. God has extended to his son. And so we must be equal to the father. Definitely, <laughs> definitely not a little body, pile of dust and water, but the almighty. We are the Almighty itself. We are God with all the power. So now we have to change really our self-concept in total because that's the lesson of today that God gave all its power, His power onto you as your son, as His son. Well, that's one of my most beloved lessons. My father gives all power unto me. <laughs> he is me. God is in me. So can, can I be a body? No. God is in me. I am the whole. There's only me and God. And that's it. Powerful. My father gives all power unto me. But first we reflect on the last judgment. It's the last time today, so listen carefully and really imbibe it. When you accept that last judgment, you are practically one with the Father, with all the power, the instrument to redeem the whole universe. And as you made up that world of suffering and the cause for it is in your mind you can undo it in total and replace it with the truth with the love so awakening to love <laughs> love is a power and love has no cannot be opposed so love is always a whole the Father's love and he extended to me as love. And love and light is one. And love and joy is one. Without love in total cannot be any joy. So all the limited joys in that world, they change to suffering. Because they are not eternal. But the joy God Father gave you is forever. So Christ's second coming what is the last judgment? Christ's second coming gives the Son of God this gift to hear the voice for God, proclaim that what is false is false and what is true has never changed. So I am the truth, I am the extension of the Father and I can never change. I am in the Father safe. In, and this, the judgment is in which perception ends because I am light, so perception ends. At first you see a world that has accepted this as true, projected from a now corrected mind, so all mortal forms are gone. I have undone them <coughs> with Holy Spirit and with Holy Sight. Perception gives a silent blessing and then disappears. Its goal accomplished and its mission done. Uh, what I experience now is a tremendous resistance or attack against this truth, <coughs> definitely from the ego, but I don't fight the ego, but I can ask, go in this energy, which seemingly holds me back to accept fully, there is no perception anymore, there is only omnipresent love. So I go in this energy and ask, what is this? <laughs> this is really so ridiculous. I only have to laugh. You are the devil and you have to die. <laughs> well, the idea to be a human, to be a person, to be guided by the ego is practically the opposite of God. We can call it de devil or, or ego or whatever. It's not the truth. It's a false. 
So I have to let go totally all my convictions, all my ideas, all my beliefs from the past and replace it with the truth. I'm the Son of God, unlimited, to accept the atonement. In the now, in the present. Holy Spirit, what is this energy I'm feeling? Aha, that's interesting. Holy Spirit tells me that they somehow are, we can say, projecting in my mind so that it's transcended the addiction to suffer. So when you are human, you have decided for separation, limitation, suffering and death. And then we made up many ideas um, that suffering brings reward. It means that I pay off my sins with suffering, like karma and getting rid of karmic accounts. All these convictions are still in the sonship, in the religion, the worldly religion. And there is seemingly an addiction to suffer because you think that makes sense that when I suffer, I pay off my guilt. And this is totally upside down. And Holy Spirit tells me that over my mind, accepting the atonement, not only for me, but for everyone, that this all was not only a dream, not real, that we are all back home in the Father, whole and holy. So I accept now the atonement fully for me. I'm in whole, holy in the Father and with me, everyone. There is no guilt. When I let go of this idea of guilt, this whole physical universe will be gone because it is made out of the idea of separation and guilt. There is no guilt. We are still in the Father. We have to awaken to that very truth. And the world is gone. So when guilt is gone, the idea of separation and death is gone, there is no world. It's undone. Now I feel totally free. There is still that pressure which wants to pull me back, but... Ah, <laughs> Jesus is experimenting me. Go in that pressure. And as Holy Spirit, he says, where that pressure started. Uh -huh. Holy Spirit, tell me where, when that pressure started. Ah. Oh. It pulls me right back to my first, we can say, say incarnation. Accept it, embrace it, okay. Give it now to Holy Spirit to be undone. Wow, this is great. Whew. Just understand, everyone is a whole. Yes, even when I was a worldly emperor, it's nonsense because I'm the whole and everyone is a whole, so there's no difference. <laughs> and the one who was my um, counselor, we can say, was myself, it was a part of me and God. And now I'm undoing it with Holy Spirit from the beginning of time. And what I feel, I'm back home in the Father. This is amazing. Wonderful process. The final judgment on the world contains no condemnation, for it sees the world as totally forgiven, without sin and wholly purposeless, without a cause 
and now without a function in Christ's sight, it merely slips away to nothingness. That was born and that ends as well. And all the figures in the dream which the world began go with it, bodies now are useless and will therefore fade away because the Son of God is limitless. That's very important. I'm limitless, I'm light, I'm love, I'm one with the Father, and that's all. This body is just a tool, projected image, and all the bodies I see, all the forms are only ideas, limited ideas I project. You who believe that God's last judgment would condemn the world to, to hell along with you, accept this holy truth. God's judgment is a gift of correction he bestows on all your errors, freeing you from them and all effects they ever seem to have. So when I felt now this funny energy and Holy Spirit explains me that they want to transform this over my mind and I went to the beginning of time and with his help it was undone. So it's undone for everyone from the beginning of time. It's powerful. To fear God's saving grace is but to fear complete release from suffering, return to peace, security and happiness and union with your own identity. So when I see any scene in this world, I'm the whole. And in truth, I'm the, uh, the holy son of God, the unlimited holy self, sharing with everyone. Instead of that scene I'm seeing, might it be any scene, doesn't matter. And I asked Holy Spirit, show me me, show me myself. I'm the, I'm the omnipresent one, one with the Father. What happens? Instantly, the images I'm, I projected are gone and I just see love and light. It's under. That's forgiveness. Wow. God's final judgment is as merciful as every step in his appointed plan to bless his son and call him to return to the eternal peace he shares with him. Be not afraid of love, for it alone can heal all sorrow, wipe away all tears, and gently awaken from his dream of pain the son whom God acknowledge as his. So every one of us is this holy son of God. You share one identity and he calls you back. Be not afraid of this. No. Salvation asks you give it welcome and the world awaits your glad acceptance which will set it free. So every one of us is a whole. Everyone is the holy son of God and we share one identity. When we accept this, we accept it for the whole. And so actually we God needs only one son who is ready to accept fully the truth and everyone is redeemed. So Jesus has done the work. He has learned all the lessons and he is still with us and helps us to accept step by step by step to undo all the chains. And he's telling me now, they are undone. They are undone in the present. And this we have to believe. I'm back home in the Father and my I have no chains. When I decide for this, I have no chains. When there are hidden convictions, still, Holy Spirit will show it to me. I will look at them, give it to them, him, and it's done. This is God's final judgment. Listen carefully. Because it's so powerful, resist you redeem yourself and the whole world. You are still my holy son, forever innocent, forever loving and forever loved, and limitless as your creator, and completely changeless and forever pure. Therefore awaken and return to me. I'm your father and you are my son. So where are you? In the father. Only in the father. So your children, your partner, it's all not true. There are pictures projected. Go with them with a big jump into the love arms of God. Being one with them in the Father. You are still my holy son, forever innocent, forever loving and forever loved. As limitless as your creator. Is it true? Yes. <laughs> and when I say yes full heartedly, then I'm back home. 
father instantly she says it's a jump and completely changes and forever pure therefore awaken and return to me i'm your father and you are my son is that true absolutely father so i have to decide and you have to decide my love that you really want to take yourself seriously as god has created you don't proclaim that you love god when you don't accept who you are he has created you and that's what you are and when you identify with a body or with your role or whatever in the world you're denying yourself you're making up the hell so change it accept god as your creator you have created yourself and let it be undone whatever you believed in the holy instant accept all the gifts of god and be free and when you take anyone like me or anyone in the holy instant in that oneness in that oneness is only joy in the moment you join with the brother in the present you are sealed and you are healed that's it that's it wow now the my beloved beloved lesson that's such a beautiful lesson lesson 320 yes again i play with the number 3 father holy spirit and me the son we are not two but we are one so two in one and the rest is zero my father gives all power unto me just must when god is the only creator and he extended to me so everything all the power must be mine every one of us has a full power of god but when he uses it with the wrong thoughts he makes a hell and when he uses it with the right thoughts with the true thoughts he makes the real god say hell <laughs> not makes he uh, the heaven dawns on him you know he starts feeling heaven my father gives all power unto me the son of god is limitless i am limitless so i cannot be a body there are no limits on his strength his peace his joy nor any attributes his father gave in his creation so i have to accept my creation given by the father he extended to me i and the father are one and i cannot be less so i am god what he wills with his creator and redeemer must be done very important my will and god's will is equal so what what i decide together with the father under the guidance of the father must be done ah the world is already redeemed his holy will can never be denied his my holy will one with the father can never be denied because his father shines upon his mind and lays before it all the strength and love in earth and heaven jesus has the heavy experiences yes when uh, they announced here tremendous calamities for example extreme storms i just decided with god with the power of father, father no nothing will happen and it stopped and when i was in india and they waited for rain because it was all dry in the summer in rajasthan where i was and i was there in deep meditation and just decided rain will now come and they <laughs> already said in this institution heidi comes rain comes because i was sitting down asked for rain rain was there i was totally convinced that i am with god one and almighty and when i say rain is coming rain is coming the same was in namibia when i was there they told me that i don't know how many years it has not rained and i said what cannot be and we were a group of very uh, determined brothers we can say and we said ah we changed it and in 10 minutes it rained can you believe it well i could hardly believe it but it happened <laughs> i'm the I'm he who I am he to whom all his, this is given all the power or the might or the peace and and eternal life I'm he 
in whom the power of my father's will abides. So this we have to accept, accept, accept. It's not a process, it's acceptance. Either I'm a human being, separate and nothing, really nothing. Seemingly powerless. But the problem is, when you believe to be a human, a body, and even reside in a body, what you don't do, you definitely don't reside in a body, it's just a projected picture. What you do is, you have the power of God and misused it, so you make up the hell, the opposite of the, of the reality of love, of life, of joy, of peace. And this must be very clear, you are almighty. Even though you are suffering, then you make suffering with all your might. Yeah, that's true. Father, you will can do all things in me and then extend to all the world as well through me. There is no limit on your will. And so all power has been given to your son. Wonderful. I accept it. I accept it. I do not want to play little. And for this I have to let go any wanting. Really accept the power, accept to be absolutely almighty, one with the Father. And all personal desires I just let go. I give it to Holy Spirit, the body. And I am the Holy Son of God, one with the Father. Whole and holy, extending this holy self to every being. That's what I do. Okay. Well, I feel very peaceful, very determined, powerful. And I really feel that I'm a partner of my father, that the father and I are one. And through me, we can say like a godmother, I'm the whole and everyone is the whole. He is undoing what I made up. Beautiful. Lesson 320. My father gives all power unto me. The son of God is limitless. There are no limits on his strengths. His peace, his joy, nor any attributes his father gave in his creation. What he wills with his creator and redeemer must be done. So I'm the whole, I'm with the father and chain. share one will. His holy will can never be denied because his father shines upon his mind and lays before it all the strengths and love in earth and in heaven. So I have to accept to be one with the Father. Father, you are me. You are in me. I am he who whom all this is given. I am he in whom the power of my Father's will abides. And that is true. So I am the whole one. I have every gift of God. I have everything. I am everywhere one with the Father. And his will will be done through me. Your will can do all things in me and then extend it to all the world as well through me. There's no limit on your will. And so all power has been given to your son. So all the limited figures I protected, I let go and see the Holy Son of God beyond and share that identity. So what a beautiful task. I give everything receive anything. My giving is by receiving. But I can only give and accept the full inheritance, all the power. So I share all the treasures of God and power and light and love and joy and eternal life with every being. Yes, I feel very powerful. Back home in the Father. And I have the awareness that nobody has ever left the Father. We are still back home. This world cannot be. It's undone. We shine it away. We shine the darkness away. We are the light. Great. Great, great, great. I'm very, very thankful for this lesson. Takes away all the idea of being limited. You are not limited. You are the whole. You embrace the whole universe. 
and you'll be with the new birth today. Here's a listen. Have a beautiful day. I love you. We are one team.